welcome to Leamington Spa, the home of the Aviva Bowls England National Finals. Crowds have been flooding into this historic Warwickshire town as the famous Greens play host to the finals of 35 knockout competitions spread over 18 days. It's an event they really want to win. You can watch live matches every day for free with expert analysis and also commentary, plus catch up on the ones you've missed by heading to bowlsengland.com forward slash bowls TV and you can catch up on all the action. Already this week, we have reached the final stages of seven competitions, including the men's singles. Day one saw round two of the men's singles, featuring Charlie Heaton from Suffolk taking on the very experienced Chris Baird of Bedfordshire. After a back and forth, first seven ends, Beard had pulled away to end eight to make it seven four. Can Beaton bring it back? Well, we'll join here now in end number nine. Two yellow. Gently, gently now. There's another in a bit of trouble again. Yellow. Now, can he get down to that shot ball? If he runs, he's close. Oh, what a line. What a line for two feet. Needs to jump Charlie's. Mm. Just wait to get round it. Uh, that's a similar bowl. Just want to navigate the front. If he's got the pace, he's very close. Oh, what a clever bowl. Absolutely brilliant. Needed that. Didn't want to let Chris start just running away. Now he's going to go back to his trusted shorter length. Two more ends later, saw some magnificent bowls from Beaton, giving the youngster a little bit of a head start on his opponent. But in a race to 21 points, neither are home and dry. We're going to rejoin that in end number 12. One yellow. Well, Charlie. <laughs> Give himself a good chance. Three. Now, is he here? I wonder whether Charlie may just take a chance at this, that plant. The way the ball sat, you just never know exactly the connection if you hit the plant. But, I mean, to draw it, you have to play within two inches. One yellow. Yep, good reply, in for sure. Very quick player, Charlie. So it is a bit like snooker in a way. You know, you can almost see the shots coming down the green as it's coming to rest. You know what you're going to be playing. He's played it well almost. Oh, brilliant. Oh, a little bit unlucky. Not quite sure if he's got it or not, but very good effort. The two down. Yeah, well played. Turned, them, turned it out for two. Two blue. Oh, great. I've changed to one yellow. It's all about keeping the nerve. Well, he puts his glasses on, just have a look what's going on, then takes him off to send his ball. Oh, 
Oh, that's been a really good head of bowls this end. Definitely wants to be up. Two yellow. Not a mile away. Quite a tight game. Never been more than three in this. Well, again, the pressure's back on to Charlie. That last time, but he managed to draw the shot last time. See so what he can uh, conjure up for this one. Three shots, yellow. Three down. Yeah, and has done, I think. As long as it stays up. Yeah, well played. One yellow. Scores continue to stay tight at end 19, sees it at 14 shots apiece. The next few ends will be a pivotal for who takes control of this very important match. Wants to miss his own front bowl. Oh, brilliant. That's a really good bowl. So, Charlie, you're in trouble here. <laughs> he's got to play at this. There's nothing to lose. Can't lose anymore. The draw line on that fort, well, his backhand has almost gone. You don't want to be start swapping your hand with your last bowl at four down. Nice and positive. Just hit the, hit the target. Well, how's the result? Oh, cruel. Oh. Looked almost on it all the way down. Just starts to bend his head now. Clips his own bowl and away it goes. So, is that the turning point? One yellow. He just made it. If he has, that's a, a match winning light. Well, Chris has got to cover the back position, surely. I mean, he's definitely two, so he's uh, within a stone's reach. Um, if he's three, well, cover the back, I think. Charlie's almost shown his his cards here. Definitely one on a measure. Yeah, he's gone for the back position. Hurry, hurry. He's playing that dangerous pace. Luckily, he's wide. Beard has pulled it back and he's now just one point away from progressing to round two of the singles. He's two up going into end 21. All the questions are now being asked of Beaton. It's a good effort. Again, just need to be up. Let's have a look how big that port is. Well, it's big enough to get a ball through. If he can just fill in this gap. It wasn't far away. And I think he actually played for that. I think he was playing that block. I mean, can't really improve what he's got there. He's got the back covered. I actually think he purposely played that and wasn't far away. He's got to reach with this. Wants the port. If not, he's got his own bowl he can, uh, he can get. Well, can he get the port? Can he get them both? He has. Brilliant. Oh, great bowl under pressure. Oh, look at that. Looking for the port, looking for the bowls. Yes, a little bit of a touch, but he was always on target. That was the main thing. Could be three. Well played, sir. Yep, three it is. So Fish both players in sight of the finish line. 17. Who's going to cross it 20. first? Two feet for Charlie. Well, that's a great bowl. 
Now, sat the other blue ball down. Two blue. Still two. Got to play the backhand, surely. Just arrive, sit that length ball. A little bit of fortune off the wide one as well. A few options down there. Well, is he going to get back in time? Don't think he is. Lucky. Well, it's a race to the finish. Chris Beard, 20. Charlie Beaton, 19. Who's your bets on? Oof, oof. A winner. It's definitely shot. The pace might just keep this back. Has done. So it's going to be staring defeat in the eyes again very shortly for Charlie. Chris has to just try and make this a, a safe ahead. Favour one to yellow. Well, that's what I call a good bad and <laughs> just in the eyesight. Mark is saying he favours yellow. I think it's mm. in, but I might be wrong. I've certainly got to play as if it's in. Well, Charlie, looks like he's got the hole, but how much pace? Oh, he's got the pace. He's going to keep him away. So it's going to be one, two, Chris Beard. That's going to be a little bit of unfortune there for Charlie. Just looking for the gap, but that extra pace just uh, found the straightener, which he's been doing most of the day, to be fair. So it's a win for Bedfordshire. And Chris Beard will put himself into the next round. Well, Beard faces another tight match in round two, eventually losing out 21-19 to Bedfordshire's Tom Cordwell. Round two saw Tom McGuinness of Buckinghamshire face off Perry Martin of Hampshire. It's end number five, and the score is 3-2 to McGuinness. Just really depends on who gets in there first. Yep. This is... Perry's not far away. This is very close, yeah. He was unlucky, really. Oh, yeah, I think he's been unlucky again. I think it's still one to Tom. Oh, well played from Tom here. Oh, great bowl. Oh, what a great bowl that was. Would you play that? Would you try and play the forehand and try and dump on the bowl, flick the jack to the far side? Two, there's two different choices, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I think, going back to what you were saying earlier about dropping ones is not... Not an issue. Well, not far away. Well, Perry, how's your look this time? Yeah, oh, great well. ball! Played it well. Fantastic. Some great balls being played. So a quick look at that playing down the backhand, looking for the ball or the jack. Actually, gets a bit of both, but he, he won't be worried about that. Thank you very much. That's a shot for myself. He's had a good look at it, so he'll play with it, whatever he fancies. Shot selection's always personal choice. Now oh, down the forehand. Just needs to get down. Well, oh, <laughs> unlucky. He nearly got a bad result down there, but he had to try something. So, all square. After levelling it up, Martin is now two ahead in end number nine with the score 6 4. But all is still to play for. Nice and solid. Oh, nearly second though. Just needs to miss the ball now. <laughs> Building the head up nicely for a score here. A bit of pressure on Perry potentially.
played one here. Well played. Well played. A couple of options now. Play the forehand, similar to what he played then. Yeah. Or switch over, land the ball on, on the jack. Certainly can. Playing quicker. Oh, he got the ball. Well played. Well, look, there's playing down for the bowl. Any piece of the ball would have been enough. Solid on the jack would have been good as well. Jack in the bin. If he gets it away, misses his own. One and a measure. Yeah, he's played it well. Slightly surprised he played the pace, but he's uh, picked the shot and executed what he wanted perfectly. Maybe sometimes I think you have to sometimes sacrifice you know, the, the maximum results against the pace. Slightly more pace. Should make it a little, a little bit more easier, maybe. There he's in the area again. He wants the jack solid. Come with it. Luck here. Oh, yeah. Maybe just. One yellow, I think. So that was quite a big bowl, that. N23, and there's nothing to separate the pair. One needs a breakaway, but who will that be to fit the missing piece to the puzzle? Oh, can he run? Can he run? What oh, a ball. Well played. What a ball. Great ball. Have a look at that. So, uh, looking to get down to the ball. Even the jack would be very good. He's got the perfect result, though. The jack, he needed to run with it and needed that little bit of luck. And he's played it extremely well. And he's lying two. With Do one some ball. time to Come. visit the club zone oh. up in the fan zone. Might even be a three. In the retail village, a place to interact with staff from Bowls England. Just reset the there, Bowls just the and daily announcer, just telling everybody what's uh, going on. You can come and say hi to us. Yeah, it's I know a few people, people are put off by that. I think it's, uh, I think it's good though to, to keep all the greens interacted. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big, big place, isn't it? Slightly quick. Club representatives. Then sixteen fourteen. Then a few twos sneaking into it now. That's a body language. Um, he looked better. Needs a connection. Needs the connection. Oh, he has. Oh. He was a little bit quick, being fair. Very sticking with the same side then. It's on plate. He's into his own. Oh. oh. Is that the turn? Is that the moment the game's changed when we look back? Quite possibly. 18-14 now. I'm going to stick my neck out and say that's the biggest margin there's been in the game. Yeah, you're right, looking at my scorecard. I can see you looking there. In for two. Yeah, it probably helps Tom a bit there. I'm going to afford to just arrive now. Yeah, definitely. Pretty similar to what he played with his first, just slightly over. Plenty of connections, a jack would be perfect. It's a little bit of the outside ball first, it'd be uh, really nice. He needs to stay there though. He's going to flick his own in. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, out to the jack front touch. That is um, a very nice result. And especially when you're 18-14. Right? Yeah, I mean, it was always it was always a result that was on, but I think it's the, the finishing of where the balls finish, you know, yeah. front knocker. Uh, there's nothing at the back. He's going to try and just move this first and create something Moving for his last. <sighs> Two of you, me, Perry. Straight down the Watford. Oh, he looks like he's running for cup. That's a... Uh, Smoking and vaping, though, is permitted outside of the fan zone. But we do ask you, please, to be respectful to other oh my goodness. And if you do have your dog you, blood there, Tom. Please, Interesting what Perry plays here now. Obviously, Tom's ball's not a toucher. But he didn't want to just touch it either. That's the issue, isn't it? The flick. You can't really afford to take the one down. That's why not send it, then. <laughs> 
I think he knows by the body language that he's not trying too hard with this one. A nudge, probably a nudge and run. He's not far away. A it's nudge really not and then far run. away. Oh, great Perry. effort. It's a great yeah, effort. Me. Slightly thick of contact looking, you can see here. Wanted the ball really three quarters to release the jack, and then the angle would have then allowed him to run through with it. But uh, unfortunately, when things are just not going your way, uh, that's the kind of result you get. However, still not over yet. I think you'd make him uh, long odds on favourite now. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Watch the pigeon. Hey, oh, got a wick off it. <laughs> oh, well played. Well played. Just sit as well. Oh. oh. <laughs> Are we going quick? Going again. Some tight to side again. I think I'd just, um, if I was Tommy, I think I'd just be trying to beat Perry's other ball. Just so if he pings one out and he's yeah, still holding still the game. game isn't it? Bar's open apparently. That's alright. <laughs> this time of the day, somewhere in the world, it's always three o'clock. I was in the ditch. Hmm. Not a massive target, as you can see. It's possible it could just peel them both away. Change your hand, I think, here. Yeah. Well, Perry, it's needed to get yourself in these championships for 2023. Come on, Tom, sidestep, think please, he's, sir. Uh, high. It's, yep, it's not going to be, so it's going to be a pair for Gerard Crosses, Tom Guinness, and he's going to take. This game against Prey Martin 21-14. And McGuinness will go all the way to the semi-final before Lewis King of Kent stopped him in his tracks. He's now looking to become King of the Green and take the title, but faces a very, very tough opponent in Leicestershire's Darren Alsop. Lewis King is leading, but the extra challenging conditions of the wind makes this green a very tricky condition to play in. We'll join here now in end seven. Yeah, it's going to be about the fourth end in a row that he's had to sort of pull one out of his last here. Um, he's obviously done it on a couple of occasions, but it's not a, it's not a sort of a winning formula. So it just dives. It's it's not it's not a consistent uh, swing. Yeah. Good chance here for Lewis. I mean, there's nothing in his way. He's played two great first two, two bowls. He'll be disappointed not to get this in, I would think. And ice creams galore. Well, Lewis just wants to miss the front. Decent pace. Just the two. Two yellow. So back to the short length, I'm assuming. The end. Just needs to follow Lewis's down, really. Just sit on the bowl. Nice little wall there for him if he does duck. He's got his own bowl just to promote. Well, if he's here, he's close, just two feet, that's all. Yeah, I think we'll see a change of hand now, won't we, Jason? Yeah, I think so. Nice tickle on the jack will be good, even if he gets to the bowl and works off it. Yeah, this is where it will help, but the fact that this hand sort of swoops in and often finishes that little bit tight, that's what he wants here. You know, you want the jack, you want the bowl, and he's very close. Look at this. Oh, what a great bowl. Played. What a very good bowl. Um, Darren's almost just got a force down that forehand as well take your chance well if he's playing this hand he can't be wide we've sort of seen it do the same thing again and again and there it is again it's just so easy to 
You can't to play, be yeah. wide. I mean, it looks the shot, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it does look the shot, but it's almost not on. Yeah, a chance for Lewis now. It depends. I mean, you don't have to be obviously super aggressive when you're 8-3 up. You might just play the same, try and draw another one. But if he, if he does reach with, you know, a couple of feet, he's got all sorts of chances to make four. He's got obviously his bow onto the jack. He's, obviously, you don't want to be too quick. You don't want to take your shot out. But it looks a nice head to play at. The line looks pretty decent. Oh, it's like a machine. Yeah, he chose the dead draw yeah. and he was perfect. So, yeah, I think that's a good choice because just of the match situation. Obviously, you, you read matches as you go along. You know, if it's eight all, um, then you're more, in, I, I would imagine he'd be more inclined to try and play the big conversion and get that four. Whereas at the moment, a two is absolutely fine for him. It yep. keeps the pressure right on Darren. Good effort. It was a good try. I mean, it was. You could see it coming down at the end, but it's banging your head against a brick wall. Sometimes yeah, you please. think you're good, and every time it just keeps sort of getting sucked out onto the same line, no matter what weight you play. Which is the only reason why I thought we might be tempted just to, you know, give it a give it a whack, um, because then you might be playing on a part of the rink where it doesn't track out. Um, but yeah, I mean, you always try and play the right shot and the right weight that gives you the best chances of results, but they're not always on. Um, part of outdoor bowls is sort of figuring out what you can and can't get almost sometimes. Well, at 18 end, King is in touching distance of the title. Can Allsop do anything? Are well, you up enough, Darren? You sit down. Oh, good effort. Gives him opportunities, mm. but the fact that, you know, the score of what it is, you almost can't even afford to drop a one. I know I know it's not game over with a one, but it just it feels like it as a player. You know, you can't, even if there's risk, if there's any kind of risk involved, but you're one down, you need to you need to convert it somehow in your favour. So, yeah, I imagine he'll be somewhat positive with his next one. He's underneath, he's very close. Oh, perfect. Mm. That could be a killer. <laughs> That's a really good bowl. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good anyway. Ah, it's a good bowl, yeah. Yes, yeah. okay, you got a tiny little flick off the front, but you didn't have to play it well. Now you can see from, we're looking from the mat end, there is not a lot showing there, that's for sure. So he's going to probably have to play that Forehand. sort of just uppish draw. You know it's going to bend enough if you just start. We've seen a lot of bowls sort of dive in tight just at the last minute. So it's possible, but this is a horrible shot to be left with, getting down. Oh, down the forehand he goes. He's definitely got a line for it if he's got enough weight. Far away, you know. He's got the jack here. He's got the... Oh, oh. <laughs> dear me. Well, I mean, it's me saying if he's got enough weight. <laughs> I thought he was guaranteed to draw into that, to bend enough. Wow. Very unlucky. But once he was up, he couldn't miss that jack. Yeah. Just seen away. everything else bending yeah. quite sharply late, and that one just didn't seem to. So very, very unfortunate. Yeah, I think Lewis will be very similar to his last. Try and get to Darren's last bowl down the backhand. What he really doesn't want to do is hit Darren's short bowl because then he'll, you know, spread the target. He's probably delighted to leave that exactly how it is and leave Darren with this really difficult shot. Um, he'll want to cover it, but he really can't afford to spread the front. It's only one mind block in the draw. That's that's not bad at all. I don't know if he's played that, but if he has, that will look horrible to Darren, I would imagine. Across every, every club in the, in the country area. Came, um, over that the last went. Year, there you go. Doesn't want to touch on that. Yeah. Has done. So it's going to be two shots to Lewis King. <laughs> And he is going to be your 2023 Aviva National Singles Men's Champion. Oh.